unwell with a cold that has now turned into like a throat and ear infection, everything, the last week. So I haven't filmed anything. But since I'm stuck in the house for a long weekend anyway, um, this weekend is a holiday weekend. So I decided to get to this series, which has been on my shelf for a long time. So I picked it up and completed it at a thrift store. Um, it's the Maze Runner series by James Dashner. It says Maze Runner, Scorch Trials and Death Cure. I've never read anything by this guy before. I think I saw the first movie of these. I'm not sure. I have very vague memories of it, but I don't remember the plot at all, so it'll be the first time reading these. Um, I'm looking forward to reading them. I used to do a lot of these series in a week, series in a weekend, or a series in a day kind of videos, so I will link them if you're interested in seeing more of these. Um, yeah, I'll see how far I get with these over the three-day weekend that is coming up. So I will start with The Maze Runner. This was from 2009. Goodness me, I'm really far behind. What was I doing in 2009? Um, I think I was living in New Zealand, maybe that's why I didn't read this. I'm on chapter nine now and we just had kind of a big reveal. Um, this book really reads as if Percy Jackson had entered the Hunger Games. It's the only way I can describe the writing style. It's very like first person, like, not first person, very much like the same language as Percy Jackson. But it's good so far. We just had a big reveal regarding the people coming in and out of the maze or the area around the maze. I think it's called the Glade. It is currently 6.20 and I started this about 6 o'clock, so it's a very fast read. So we'll see how far we get tonight. Seven o'clock and I am 25% of the way through this book so it's now a race between the night quill and how far I'll get this evening because I am sleepy after taking some cold medicine but we shall see how it goes. Yeah, I am on chapter 27 which puts me very close to what the previous name of this book gave up in I'm guessing 2013 so 10 years ago but um yeah i'm about 27 chapter 27 i'm about halfway through but i think that might be it for the night i might read some more before i go to sleep but the night pull is definitely kicking in so i will let you know what's happening tomorrow <laughs> finished um the maze run it's currently lunchtime on saturday i have slightly got my voice back having started the antibiotics and um, so i finished the maze runner it is good it's a very fun like adventure book and um, i would just say the characters feel incredibly flat some of that is from the fact that they don't have much like background to them um there's no history to these people i don't know if you've read the series but they um kind of wake up in this maze like environment oh but they write wake up in like a glade and there's a maze that they have to explore to try and get out of the um captivity they're in and they're feel extremely flat there's a lot of like bathroom humor kind of jokes and they have their own little language and things it's very boyish um in that way and there is one female character who's introduced and she is the flattest character ever um and she's immediately just wakes up from like a coma kind of situation is described just on her looks and there's no like addition of what she can bring to the environment it does feel very uh, man writing a woman, I would say. But um, overall, I did really enjoy it. I like the adventure side of it. It's kind of a good, ow, don't punch me, ow. Um, it is kind of a good fun, um, stop it. <laughs> My cat's woken up angry today. It is a good fun, like mystery book. Um, so I'm definitely excited to read the next one. The next one is, the... can I put that there, honey? Oh, no, okay. Um, is The Scorch Trials, um, the second one of this original trilogy. I think it was spinned out to do prequels and sequels and such, but this is the second one in the actual full trilogy. Ow, that's claws. Um, so I'm looking forward to this one. This, they just, at the, at mild spoilers, at the end of the last one, they kind of found themselves in like a research facility after managing to escape um, where they were in the first book. So this one kind of follows on. I have the vaguest feeling I've either seen an advert for the movie of this or I may have seen part of the movie because I think maybe they're in like an old city, are they? Solving the maze was supposed to be the end. Thomas was sure his escape from the maze being freedom of him and the gladers, but Wicked isn't done with them yet. Phase two has just begun the scorch. They have two weeks to cross the scorch, the most burnt out section of the world, and the Wicked has to adjust some variables to stack the odds against them. So that is book two. So I am looking forward to reading that. Why are you so angry? Why are you so angry? Can you stop baiting me? Ow. Okay, okay, okay. 
Okay, yes, yeah, so that's the next book I'm reading. Can you say something nice? Nope, okay. I'm about halfway through the Scorch Trials and I'm feeling quite ill again. <laughs> um, I think it's the antibiotics that's making me super, super tired. So, unfortunately, this book isn't holding me interest quite as much as the first one. It's a lot like, it's very much like the middle of a lot of um, sort of sci fi dystopian thrillers, trilogies, where there's a lot of traveling and a lot of trying to find things out but not any answers. But nonetheless, I shall persevere and hopefully get to the third one this afternoon because they're, they're getting shorter as they go along. Um, the next one is just uh, just over 300 pages, I think, so hopefully I'm going to finish it there. But yeah, hopefully this one speeds up a little bit, as I say, I'm about halfway through at the moment. Yeah, about halfway through. So, we'll see how it goes. stood up and immediately his head pounded again and the room was swaying making him feel sick oh same babe same whoever owned this book before has circled just like random words throughout the book like desolate and converging and there's a few ones earlier on it reminds me of an agatha christie book where they communicate by um leaving messages by circling words in books that make a sentence up i don't really have the energy to go through and figure out what the sentence is here though so I can't imagine what they're trying to communicate with the desolate converging. It is um, seven o'clock on Saturday night. No, it's eight o'clock on Saturday night, and I've just finished the Scorts trials. It should pick up towards the end. It's a lot of like, um, is somebody betraying me? Are they not? Kind of confusing back and forth, but it is a very much a traveling book in between the two, um, the first and the third book. So I am excited to find out how this all turns out in the Death Cure because they just got to like the final destination and the epilogue of that book said that everything will be told in the death kit. Basically, we found out nothing in the middle book. We still don't know if anyone's being betrayed or really nothing happened. But nonetheless, um, I'm excited to find out what happens at the end. Um, I might start it tonight, I might start it tomorrow. Um, it's the shortest of the three books. The books get shorter as they go through. Um, this one is just over... Just over three... Yeah, 325, so it's definitely the shortest of the books. I think the first one was like 375, then 350 and 325. So yeah, this is the shortest one, so I don't know if I'll finish it today or tomorrow, but um but is Casper still being a bit grumpy. I don't know what made him so mad today. Anyway, yeah, so that's where I'm starting now. He has ended every single chapter either falling asleep or being knocked out. Um, he's going to have a very serious head injury. He does spend a lot of time asleep in this book, considering it's like the end of the world. But um, basically, he is having dreams that tell him about his past. So at this point in the book, we found out that he has um, immunity to a disease that came after solar flares hit the earth. That's what kind of led to the end of the world. And um, he's immune to the disease, but his parents weren't. So he has these dreams telling the past. I understand that's why the author keeps making him go sleep so he can have these dreams. But really, it's just constantly. He's barely awake. Um, but he is immune to this disease. So they're trying to get him to somewhere that other people who are immune are. It's another book of just kind of traveling around a little bit. Definitely the first book in this series is the strongest so far. A lot of these um, public service announcements stuff are giving me COVID flashbacks. And they're talking about people walking around wearing masks. Bad times. I just finished The Death Cure, which is the final book in this series. Um, I did quite enjoy The Maze Runner. I said that's four star, then three star, then probably like 2.5. I do think it probably could have just been a duology or maybe just one book because they end, kind of end up back at the beginning and it's kind of a very circular story. These two books have a lot of traveling and trying to find things out. There's like the solar flares and then there's this illness and some people have immunities and there's like this weird love triangle. Um, it definitely started very strong, but it did seem to like fizzle out towards the end. Um, I would be interested in watching the movie adaptation of this and see if they did anything differently, because there does seem to be a lot of, a lot of these books could have been combined into one. There's a lot of back and forth and a lot of things don't really get resolved. Overall, I'm not 100% sure I would recommend this as a series. I don't 
I didn't dislike it, but it wasn't one that I think I would have been an absolute loss if I'd never read it. Um, as I say, I did quite enjoy the first one, but I'm glad I read it. And that's a whole other series checked off. And also, these are super fluffy paperbacks, so that's always nice. Everyone loves a fluffy paperback. So yes, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you'd like to. Comment down below if you've read these books and what your thoughts on them were. And I will see you again very soon, hopefully with a complete voice. Bye.